Right then, deja vu. This time yesterday, I crossed a stile there, went across several fields, ball field, through Ebber Gorge, all down and up and round Ebber Gorge, and then back to Pretty that way. Today I've gone further down through Upper Pitts Farm, down a little bit into the gorge, then turned um, down into the into the wood, not going down the gorge, but ending up in the field area, coming back this way, picking up this Durston Drove. <sighs> and it is very quagmire-ish apparently up that way. But I've just met some people and they said they've come along there from Wookie Hole. So, um, there it must be a route that way. Oh yeah, I can see some people that would have been following me if I'd um, gone down the route I came up earlier, which was over there. There's some people that were behind me and they are now going down the road. They've got a couple of kids. Yeah, they're, they're now just going down there. I came up there this morning from Little Pitts Farm or Lower Pitts Farm. I came, to, I came back, I came that way, but decided, but I decided to go back in reverse this way. <sighs> because I think I've only ever come from this direction. So now I'm going back that way and in front of me you've got Stotland Woods, a new exploration I did last year. Now what you've got to remember about this particular field, this one won't have cows in it because they've planted kale or something in here. They've planted something. So you know that this field, say you've got five fields to go across, you'll know come the spring and summer they won't be putting cows in there. So this part is almost like a safe part of a route. You've got dirt and drove that you can use. You can go through the farm without being attacked. Unless they let the cows up right near the gate. Um, and, well, I don't know, they might let the cows out that way. I'm not sure. Yeah, there is a couple of fields that could be a bit dodgy. But you know here where the white poles are, that this is crop, a crop field. So when you see a crop field, you're safe, isn't you? You're safe. Makes you wonder how a wall suddenly decided to fall, didn't it, there? Why there? You know, look at it. Why did it suddenly collapse there? And today, of course, right over, right over, on the hill, right, 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 right over, are the pretty Barrow Mounds. The Barrows. They will get, they will be getting closer and closer as I walk back to Alberta. They will be getting closer and closer. So, this is Sheila walking along in the beautiful Somerset countryside, exploring different routes, different pathways, in the mud and the squelch, but it's all fun. And for David Bowie, everyone says hi. Everyone says hi, hi, hi. I shall probably edit that bit out. Right, we're coming up to the first style. Uh, 
I like how they make these styles because you can imagine them being like this for hundreds of years and they probably were as well made like that with one really big solid stone that's going to take the weight of many a traveller this is this this is a small one um, yesterday and today I encountered m massive ones massive and look at this wall look at this wall it makes you wonder if anything like a little bird or something lives in the holes in there all nice and cozy and warm it would be wouldn't it in there dry and cozy Right, so here we've got a style. White pole crops. Another field. With crops in it again. Because it's a bit of deja vu because I did this yesterday and I remember that little encampment there I took a picture of that from the other lane the parallel lane over there earlier there's the Durston Row following that hedgerow right I'm going to take some photos now everyone over and out